there any kind of update you can give on, on Tyler? Well, as our policy, I mean, Tyler's day to day and we'll just see how he's going to progress. Right. Steve, you were pretty deep in that, that offensive line with some of the guys coming back. Um, I know you don't want to lose one guy, but if that happens to be the case, you prepare for that, don't you? Yeah, I mean, we've, we've uh, gotten a lot of great work out of, uh, you know, the, the tackles uh, from the spring and, and this fall camp. Um, you know, Andre Iverreta Toyana has done a great job. Matt Pearson's really come on strong. I'm very, very impressed with the young freshman, Tyrell Crosby. I think he's going to end up helping us this fall. Um, Jake Fisher is back and running up full speed right now and looking good. So, you know, I'm confident and, and uh, you know, we're not going to we're not going to drop off the tackle spot. Who's getting the bulk of Tyler's reps? Uh, right now, Andre is uh, is running first team, the left tackle, and has been since last spring. Right. And like I said, doing a great job, doing a great job. How do you think that spring has kind of prepared him for this season? I think it's done I mean, immensely prepared him. He's very well. I mean, shoot, you look at him, he's going against, I think, one of the premier defensive linemen in the country and DeForest Buckner every snap. Right. That can't help but, help but get you better and better. And uh, Andre's been competing very well at a very high level. Seems like a lot of the guys that play along the line can play multiple spots. Do you anticipate maybe trying a couple other guys at, at left? Always. I mean, that's it. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're, we're always looking to shake it up a little bit, probably starting next week start moving some guys to different positions and just building that depth across the board. You know, I always kind of wait the first two weeks just to get them, you know, comfortable with right. what they're doing and now I'll start shuffling the deck a little bit. Something that Andre's talked about is struggling with this is confidence. Have you seen that coming out into play during practices at all? I've seen Andre become more and more confident. We, we've had a long talk about that uh, last off season and, and uh, just you know him assuming the, the role of what he is and I see every day him going out there and doing a good job and building his confidence and, and, his, and his prowess and I think he takes a great deal of pride in polishing his craft and, and you know working on, on what he has to do to improve each and every day. How would you evaluate uh, Doug's progress from since he's arrived I think he's competing for the, the backup center position? Yeah I mean Doug's, Doug's I think is, is, is put himself in a great position I feel very very comfortable you know, with the, if Veronis is out of the game for any reason, that Doug will come in and, and uh, you know, we'll be fine at the center position. You know, mentally, he's doing some good things. The snaps have been clean. Um, you know, he doesn't have quite the same physical prowess that Veronis has, but, you know, he's a real beast inside, strong, mobile guy inside, and can get some movement. So I feel really good about, about what he brings. And then Losi's production through, I guess, six days of fall, seven days of fall camp. Is he? Jelly right now has uh, uh, got himself in the kind of shape that he needs to be in to compete at a high level, which he didn't have coming into spring ball. It's kind of natural for junior college guys. Right. Really don't know what to expect. But he's thinned down. He's in better shape. He's showing more explosion. And obviously he's showing a lot better knowledge of the offense. So I, I like the direction he's going. See a guy that can play on, on the edge at, at tackle? Haven't really tried that out there. Again, I, you know, I just want to I want to make sure that he has got his comfort level at right. guard. Um, but I really haven't made that experiment yet. May come to that later on down the road. How much has Hunt progressed? How much has he progressed? Yeah. Well, I think a great deal from a knowledge standpoint. Uh, for just a freshman, he's one of the sharper guys I have. Um, does a very, very good job. He's a guy that, again, can play multiple positions. I, you know, don't be surprised to see him if we get in a bind at tackle to be out there as well. So, uh, you know, Jake Pisarchik's um, coming along very well, nicely for us too. So there's some good competition at that right guard spot, which gives me the luxury of, again. If we need to make some moves, Cameron. Cameron started a game or two for us at tackle last year, and so you know he can handle that mentally and physically. He's put on a ton of weight since last year. Is that helping? Uh, he's not put on a ton, but you know he's he's kind of reshaped his body some, and, and you know stronger. Uh, you know looks more like a college offensive lineman rather than a freshman coming out of high school. You mentioned Crosby might see some playing time. Is that kind of something that surprised you, or maybe you anticipating he was that good coming? Well, in? you always you always have uh, cautious optimism when you get your freshman class in, and, and uh, he has definitely sort of lived up to my expectations of what I hoped he was from an athletic standpoint. What I'm most pleased with is how quickly he's picked things up. Right. He assimilates things very well, and and you know not making a lot of freshman mistakes. That it. Thanks, Thanks Steve. Steve. Right, you're welcome.